Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with another episode from the game Plutocracy, a game about wealth and power based in 19th century United States. Uh, during the Gilded Age, you are playing as a plutocrat with a lot of wealth and you're trying to accumulate shares and companies and influence very important people. Uh, they just, since the game, since I last played, I think they added Georgia to the map. You can play in six different states, New York, Illinois, Virginia, Georgia, Texas, and California. We're in Illinois right now. And the game isn't fully developed yet. There are a lot of things that are missing. It does crash a lot, too. Uh, I just had my first crash the other day. And a lot of people have been claim complaining about the crashes. But they've been uh, developers have been working on it, and there's two patches, at least. I think they're on the second patch right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, instead of doing a playthrough, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do some tutorial introductory videos for you guys. Uh, just to explain some of the different... Uh, aspects of the game here. So right now we're looking at the company list. And I'm going to do a tutorial on how to acquire a share in a company. At least a share or controlling share, which I think is 1%, um, which you can uh, then actually have some sort of influence. Majority share would be 50% uh, plus 1, and then you can have like full influence over the country, company. But uh, with a minority share of 1%, you can vote in... Um, uh, different elections that they have for different decisions on company policies um, and for the uh, company uh, manager and you can also influence other people other shareholders within the company as well so you can have influence uh, as a small shareholder but if you have majority stake then you have a lot more influence so just to take a look at these companies in Illinois we have there are three different company types in the game there's transport companies there are oil production companies, and then there are oil refining companies. Those are only the only companies that they have right now. Uh, I'm assuming they might add more later. It looks like there's different ones here. I'm going to get to the technology in a second, uh, which I don't have much on. But you have uh, company types, like I said, and you have company names. You have shareholders. Shareholders, uh, the first number is the number of shareholders that you can make a deal with. The second number is the total number of shareholders in the company. Uh, so this number is actually important because uh, if you notice... Um, there might be seven shareholders here, but you can only deal with two of them, and therefore you can only acquire 19% of the shares in the company. Now, as you make deals, your influence will increase, but it, you know, inf increases uh, fractionally almost. So, it's going to be a while before you influence other comp other uh, shareholders. So, that's important to keep track of, and if you click on the company here, you will have a list of the shareholders. Uh, what their jobs are, what their occupations are, investors or legislative people, um, the total stake size that they have, as well as the value of that size, um, the acquired influence that you need, I have 50 influence right now, so uh, the required here is 53.8, so I can't talk to that guy, I can only talk to two people here, and they only have a total of 17% of the shares, uh, the biggest shareholder is, requires 81 influence, <clears throat> and she has 34%, uh, so that's tough to get to. There's also economics, uh, I don't know if I went over this last time, but economic skills allow you to get the best price as well as upgrading company management. Uh, diplomacy skills increases the chance to make a deal and get more influence by pointing, uh, influence points by holding various political and company posts. Alright, then there are ambitions and this one has an ambition that she wants to get shares of an oil company. Some of them say that they want to sell shares of a company. Right here, this person wants to sell shares of a transport company, which, which this is a transport company, which this would actually be a good person to buy from if you could acquire all those shares, because then you will increase loyalty. Loyalty will increase because you help them achieve their ambition. Uh, you also have to pay attention to the different features of the characters. There is charismatic. Uh, a character diplomacy level will be having an effect two times stronger on the deal resulting. That's not good. Uh, making the deal much harder. Uh, careless is 20% chance of uh, getting killed by a hitman, I guess. So, I guess you can assassinate people in this game. Uh, comms, uh, a good one for you. Anyone that are green, any, uh, any things here that are features that are green are good, helpful to you. Orange, not so much. Fussy. Uh, fussy is no good. Yeah. Alcoholic, 20% chance the character will not show up to the negotiation at all because he's probably, you know, drunk in a ditch somewhere. Um, so yeah, these you have to pay attention to the features as well when you're dealing with people, but I'm going to come back to that. 
uh, because I want to go over the rest of this. Workers. Workers are the number... First you have the number of workers, and then you have the number of workplaces. So, assuming that if you have less workers and workplaces, you could probably go hire more people, and the company can... uh, I don't want to say expand. I guess expanding the company would increase the number of workplaces. But you can try to entice workers, I think, and I'll show you when we get into uh, the company's the company uh, screen there. Um, market cap is the total value of the company. And you do want to start off going after lower valued companies because uh, then you can acquire, you have a better chance of acquiring uh, influential uh, stake in that company. However, you also have to pay attention to shareholders too, because while this is the lowest uh, market value here, only six hundred ten thousand, which is very low, uh, you can only acquire nineteen percent of the shares. So that's something to pay attention to here. One point five four uh, million, <clears throat> and you have a chance of acquiring um, seventy five percent of the shares. So, uh, Ant Atlantic is while it's it looks good to easily acquire. Uh, Electrox could be actually easier to get a majority uh, shareholder because it's available to you right away and it's still cheap. Uh, you also have to pay attention to profitability. Profitability is the company's profitability relative to the capitalization per quarter. And uh, as you see here, being orange, it's actually declining. Next quarter, I guess, it's going to go down to negative 3.2. So that company's not looking too great. Well, this one is increasing to 6.9. So Electrox, um, <laughs> I think I'm saying that right, is a better company, I would say, to start off with. Uh, you also have to pay attention to dividends. Dividend rate is 70%. So that, I believe, is the profitability. Uh, how much of the profits are paid out to the shareholders. So 70% is pretty good. This one's really good, 95%. Oh my god, and that, I just hit the mouse when I saw that number. 26% it's going to increase to, and 95% dividend payout, that's like the best. But, how much can we get? We can get 50%. Hmm, I was going to go into Electrox, but I'm thinking about Reunion now. Uh, Technology, technology says, uh, technology boost in the company productivity. Uh, To get the technology, buy a controlling interest in another company of the same type. Too bad these guys are not of the same type. Mulan. Well. That is interesting. I'm gonna go into Electrox for... Well, I kinda wanna go into reading. Let's check that out. <laughs> Just gonna check out both of these, actually. Uh, Dominique Martin. Whoa, you have a lot of economics and diplomacy there. Yeah, look at these guys. So these guys, good thing I went into uh, companies. So while they, I have the ability to influence them, I'm not going to get the best price because of their inf- their economic uh, skill there. So let's see if we can actually check out Electrox. And I think we have better opportunities here. Uh, this guy, that guy. Yeah, check out their features here. Calm. Uh, 20% success with Detective. I don't have any agents, but as you acquire agents, you can use them to influence people. Uh, there's a dark pass. So he's got to have dirt on him. Something we can use to bribe. Uh, this guy looks no good. Proud, even if you have dirt on him. And he's a mercenary. Yeah, yeah. Alright, ooh, that looks like a good price, but... I don't know, that might be good. 50% negative impact on acquiring a deal. Forty percent. And he doesn't have very good features. Let's just go for one percent for now. Maybe we can buy everybody's or all the shares. Alright, so we have uh he's an investor, he's from Illinois. He is calm, he is a dark past. He also has coins. I think he says he has coins. Uh, he's a religious man, which will give some bonuses if you are religious. He's straight, which will give you a bonus if you're straight. Republican, you won't get a penalty. 
I think I'm a Republican. Um, I want to get shares of an oil refining company. Hmm. All different people that he has connections with. Let me go ahead and see if we can make a deal with this guy. Electrox. And here's our deal screen. Alright, so here you have a share sale agreement. Electrox. Terms of the agreement. Shares. Uh, he only has one share. Oh, no, this is the amount of shares that you want to buy. Sorry, I was looking at that wrong. Uh, share price. Deal sum. The total amount for the deal. This will give you the uh, percentage that you control. So I think I have to do it. Oh no, that doesn't give you. Sorry. That is right here, your future stake. So, 10,000 shares. It's going to cost me... 15,000? 400. 400. Profitability is 3.2%. And... So I have 100,000, so this is a small amount. And... It will give me some profit. Uh, there's also some stuff over here. Deal process, negotiations between Matthew Henderson and Xavier Clark. Deal chance, it's kind of just what it says. Initial chance is 50%. Grand total is 50%. And that's just what we have here. So this is your sort of barometer here. And uh, we're going to try to buy the 1% share of this company. Uh, and here you have different arguments, alright, so you can do things like uh, lower the price or raise the price, 1% increase, 1% uh, decrease, and it either impacts, I don't know if it all makes sense, um, it either says that you can improve the deal chance or make the chance less, so this will make it cheaper but there'll be less of a chance. The success rate goes down to 44%. Here, we reduce the price by, or we increase the price by 1%, and we increase our uh, success rate to 54%. We're we'll gonna do this. Let's see if we get lucky here, because I do want to just get a buy for you guys. There it is, okay. We have an agreement, we have terms of agreement. I can uh, try to do another round if I want to. Uh, but I am good with this because it didn't really cost me that much. It's only an extra hundred dollars. Deal. And we have bought our, we have bought a controlling, or not, yeah, I think a controlling share in the company. Which means that we now, get out of my face, we now uh, can take a look at what's going on with the company. Let's start with men. And in management, um... Here you can influence CEOs. I think I went over this already. Here's our CEO, Jenna Nelson. We have a woman. Um, she's charismatic. Oh, she makes us tough to deal with. 20% success of the gangster spender. Uh, she's a religious woman, not man. Looks like a woman to me. Uh, she's straight. She's a Republican. And she wants to buy pictures. Uh, very good economics here, which I think uh, helps. Yeah, that's good. So that does help with the company management. So one thing you could do is uh, try to change the CEO, but I don't think I want to because she looks pretty good. Uh, there's agents that I could use. I don't have any agents. Get subsidies. Uh, Treasurer can provide soft loans as a subsidy at a subsidy rate of 90%. This is best the best way to develop. Uh, skill loans is not reached. One of two must be performed, friend treasurer or friend puppet. So for me to do this, I would have to befriend the treasurer. Um, I don't really know who the treasurer is. Lending. Uh, this is a quick way to expand the financial capabilities of your company by paying additional costs required to get most shareholder approval. So uh, that's going to provide capital to expand. Uh, government contracts. We haven't reached that. We have. Oh, the treasurer. Is that the treasurer of the state? Or is it the treasurer of the country? The treasurer of the state should be the comptroller, I thought. But alright, we'll move on from that. Um, friend the governor or puppet the governor. So, if we befriend the governor or puppet the governor, or the same thing with the treasurer, then we can get subsidies for government contracts. So that's very interesting, actually. That's something I might want to get into. There's some other things down here that look interesting that are still in developing. Trust, a cartel, holding, Merger. These sound fun. 
uh, issue shares of stock, which will lower the price, uh, but increase the amount of shares out there. Uh, and it should actually bring in capital, too, because people would buy more, I believe. Um, then there's company expansion, which changes the number of workplaces. So if you have a lot of workers, if all your workplaces are filled, you may want to go ahead and call for a vote for this. Development strategy, set a priority direction for the company. Let's see what this says. Oh, here you have different things here. And you can also drag the CEO. Right now she's working on five different issues. And actually the more, um, the better the CEO is in economics, the more issues she can work on. So if she's working on this issue of hiring people, um, it looks like she's working to increase the... Oh, that's decreasing the worker rate. And increasing experience. To increase productivity. So these are different ways. And you can drag, like I said, you can drag... If you have 50% and one share, or other words, majority share shares, you can drag the CEO to go where you want and it's a little bit more micromanaging but uh, there's the recommendations not to do micromanaging so revenue is increasing expenses are decreasing Ec uh, income is therefore increasing which is a good thing taxes have gone up and net income is going up so that is all this company looks pretty healthy so you probably don't need to do much in this company uh, but we are now a shareholder at a stakeholder at one percent and we are minority. Yes, minority stakeholder, right? Uh, 22 company workers. All right. You also have some charts here. Revenue. Don't know what the line means. Revenue looks like it's going up. The line's going down. Same thing here. ROI. I actually don't know what that means. Uh, product price is going down. Which looks like it's increasing the revenue because more people are buying. Share price is going up. Market share has gone up. Market share is how much they control in the market, I guess. And profit margins. You can use an agent government contract grant. So, still in a lot of stuff still in development, but this looks like a lot of fun. And I hope you guys are enjoying them and continue to do some more tutorials out there. Put some more tutorials out there. Uh, I'll try to do one a week. And uh, as this game uh, develops, I will continue to be playing this on my channel because I got a lot of support last time. Um, again, if you want to support the channel, please do subscribe, like the video, feel free to comment down below. Uh, you can also support me on Patreon if you like uh, through a link in the description. Um, and that will give you some early access perks as well as uh, some more influence in the type of uh, series that I'm going to be doing on the channel and what direction we're going to go with this channel. So thank you for watching everyone. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm enjoying this game. Um, and again, feel free to ask me any questions. Post some questions down in the comments. If I don't know the answer, maybe someone else will know the answer. Uh, there are bugs right now and there are some crashes, but the developers are working on this. So again, thank you for watching for the last time. Have a nice day.